the throat chakra. The throat chakra is the fifth chakra. It's located in the center of the throat, uh, just above where the neck meets the shoulders or the trunk of the body. Um, the color associated with is light blue. And the throat chakra is known as the chakra of communication. It's the chakra that we associate with speaking our truth, uh, protection, setting boundaries, communication, how we connect with the world and how the world connects with us. It's also the chakra of listening, um, of tuning in, hearing what's going back, paying attention to um, the back and forth between people. And so when we talk about the throat chakra, the biggest one that we talk about is communication. And whether you uh, are, e it's easy for you to communicate, you have a strong voice, you can be um, loud, um, you can be, uh, project your voice, people can hear you. Or if you struggle speaking your truth or communicating or saying what's on your mind or saying how you feel, um, it is the range of whether a throat chakra is in balance or out of balance. Um, if you are struggling to say what you think and struggling with, to say what's on your mind or communicate or you have uh, problems with saying boundaries or saying no, uh, or if you use your throat chakra too much, if you talk too much, if you do not listen, if you do not uh, are not able to modulate what you say, um, in a sort of a negative way, not a positive way, then you have a throat chakra that sits a bit out of balance. Um, and so when we work with the throat chakra, we learn to communicate better. We learn to speak our truth. We say what's important to us. We don't lie. We don't um, hide who we are. These are all actions that uh, they may uh, originate in other chakras, but they come out into the world through uh, the throat chakra. Another thing about the throat chakra is because humans are such vocal creatures, it's very much how the world um, sees you and how you see the world. It is your throat, your voice is often your calling card. Um, you can have calling cards in different ways, but uh, we listen, we hear, we're, we're such auditory creatures that your throat chakra really is a... Um, a reflection of that because your ears are connected into your throat chakra. And so another thing, another action that comes from the throat chakra is active listening, being able to pay attention and hearing what other people say, uh, not cutting them off, not interrupting them, uh, actively listening. That's something that a lot of us have to work on. Um, I know I grew up in a family where the, whoever spoke the loudest uh, got heard. And so if you weren't willing to fight your way vocally to the top, you did never got heard. And so uh, a lot of us have that experience or we were taught that we have to keep silent. Children should be seen and not heard. That's a, a big issue with the throat chakra. Another issue is um, uh, is that our throat chakra is very often our protection. It's our first front against protection. Uh, if something happens to you, you speak up, you say no, you fight back, you yell back. Uh, if you get into trouble, we're taught one of the first things you should do is make noise so other people around you can hear you. And so um, it's really a good indication about how strong uh, that part of your protection is. Another thing that you can do, another thing about the throat chakra is that it's a really wonderful tool for, uh, for those of you who are psychic um, or, you know, intuitive. I'm sure many of you have had the experience of something just comes out of your mouth when you're comforting somebody. Uh, something just comes through you. You say something. Uh, you give a person a message you don't necessarily mean to. I work as a professional psychic and so I'm very aware that my main spirit guide takes over my voice and I channel. I channel a lot. Um, but a lot of us do that. We just do it unconsciously. And so you say the right thing to the person. So the, the, the throat chakra has quite a bit of intuition in it as a divining rod. Um, if you've ever been around somebody and you can't speak or you can't say things or you have trouble, you feel um, insecure, you're throat chakra may be actually divining what that person is really like. Um, so pay attention to what your throat chakra does around certain people. It may not have anything to do with you. It may have everything to do with them. And your throat chakra is sort of warning you against people who are not good for you. Uh, it's also really useful and wonderful to work with the throat chakra and how it makes sound. I mean, it's definitely, if we're talking about vibrational frequency, that can very well be perceived through the throat chakra. 
singing, chanting, toning, anything like that. It is a, it's, a, it's an instrument. The throat's an instrument, and it works with vibrational frequency. For those of you who have ever done anything with sound healing, you can use your voice for something, for example, like toning and change the frequency of your chakras. You can do chanting and open up your chakras. It's just it's a wonderful, versatile, uh, exquisite tool. And for those of you that necessarily don't have a voice or you have trouble speaking, that's a very fascinating sort of karmic experience that you're having as well as a result of here's this large um, important tool that many humans have and you, you're, you don't have it and what other skills are you trying to learn in this lifetime since you don't have this one. Um, it, it's interesting with that sort of thing. So there's so many different ways to look at it. Um, and so those are my thoughts on the throat chakra. Don't forget I'm Beth Ann Kennedy. Um, I also should throw in there if there are any crystals that you like to use for healing your throat. I recommend things like kyanite, um, blue hemimorphite, uh, aquamarine, topaz, blue topaz, blue lace agate, um, blue cow sydney. Uh, these are all really wonderful throat chakra stones and carrying them with you can help strengthen your throat and balance your throat. So once again, I'm Beth Ann Kennedy and you can like and subscribe to this video and don't forget to, um, so I'm going to stop. Mm -hmm. Don't turn it off.